Welcome to Lesson 1 on Surface Area of Rectangular Prisms. To determine the surface area of a right rectangular prism, we first take note that a rectangular prism has six sides, each made up of rectangles. To find the surface area of a rectangular prism, or any object for that matter, we add up the area of each side. And the area of a rectangle is given by length times width. Now looking at this diagram, make a few notes. First of all, the area of the top and bottom rectangles are equal. So if we find the area of the top or the area of the bottom, then we can just multiply it by 2 since they're the same. Now the same thing goes for the front and the back. Front and back are equal as well. So if you find the area of the front rectangle and the area of the back rectangle, they will be the same. And then the two sides that are left over, they are equal as well. So we'll use these notes that we just made to help us with example one. We're asked to find the surface area of the rectangular prism below to determine how many cans of paint that Billy will need to purchase if he is going to paint the outside of the prism. Now we see that one can of paint covers 50 square feet. So let's start by finding the surface area of the prism. We'll do the top and bottom together since they are equal. Now area is length times width, but since I'm doing two of them together, I'll multiply that by two. Now the top and bottom rectangles have dimensions four by six. So two times four times six. Now four times six is 24. And if I double that, I get 48 feet squared. Now the front and back, use the same formula. I see that the dimensions of this rectangle here are six by three. So two times six times three. Six times three is 18, times that by two gives me 36. Now for the two sides. So looking at this rectangle here, see that one side is four feet and the other one here is three feet. So three times four is 12 and then doubling that gives me 24. Now the total surface area is found by adding the three values together, 48, 36, and 24. And I get a total of 108 feet squared. Now to determine how many cans of paint are needed, we take the total surface area and divide that by the area of each can, which is 50. I get 2.16. So I'll need two full cans of paint and part of another can. Now if you're going to the store though to buy cans of paint, you'll need to buy three. So I'll say that Billy will need to purchase three cans of paint. 